How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another Arc Let's Build video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this merry-go-round that you see in front of you now. And this build actually doubles as a stable for your horses, but for those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step walkthrough video with real easy to follow along instructions showing you how to get this build on your Arc. And for all of the building materials you will need and the map cords where I built this, check out the description below. But anyways guys, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is build up the middle portion of the build. So first we need to lay down the foundation. So we're going to go ahead and get out a wooden triangle foundation and place it down. We'll then add one more on each side of that, and then add three more opposite of those. Now that we have those placed, we're going to go ahead and get out wooden fence foundations, and we're going to place one on each triangle foundation on the inside snap point. So with those placed, we're going to come to the center of our foundations, and we're going to add more fence foundations on these inlines that point towards the middle. So just go ahead and place one on each inline. And you want to make sure that they line up with the one across from them. So if you have any that don't line up, go ahead and pick those up and make sure they line up with the one across from them. Now we're going to go ahead and start on whichever side you're going to consider the back side of your build. So the first thing we're going to do is go in here and we're going to get out a wooden door frame. And we're going to place this actually snapping onto that fence foundation. So whichever way you have to go to get it to snap, make sure you're getting this inside snap point on the fence foundation. And then go ahead and flip it around so it's facing like so. Place one of those down and then add a wooden door inside of it. And then on the remaining sides, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to place wooden walls instead of a wooden door frame. Then with all of those placed, we're going to go ahead and add two more wooden walls on each side. Now, because this portion is gonna be built kind of behind other walls, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it now. So what I'm gonna do is get up my spray gun with the white paint, and I'm gonna paint every zone of this entire structure white. Now we're gonna come back in here where we have our door, and we're gonna place a greenhouse door frame on the foundation itself, not the fence foundation. So it shouldn't destroy the wall behind it. Go ahead and add a greenhouse door inside of that, and then two greenhouse walls on top. And then just go around the remainder of the sides and add three high greenhouse walls, again, placing them on the foundation. With that done, we're going to come back in here to the corner and we're going to add four high metal pillars snapped to that fence foundation. Now you need to make sure you're snapping it to the one that we angled going inward so that we have the flat side on the corner like this. So go ahead and add three more on top of that. And we'll go over here to another one and we'll do it again right here on this one. So again, you're snapping it to that fence foundation so that the flat side of the pillar is facing towards you on the corner and do this on all of our corners. Next, on top of those greenhouse walls, we're going to place two high wooden walls with the dark wood side facing towards us. Then on top of those, we're going to add a wooden window frame flipped around so the light side is facing us. Go ahead around and do this on every side. Then with that done, we're just going to go ahead and add two high wooden pillars to each of our metal pillars. Now we're going to go ahead and add another ring of wooden triangle foundations around the bottom of our build. So we'll start here in front of our door by placing one right here. Then we'll place another one over on this side in front of this wall. And then we'll just connect these two. 
and then we'll continue to do this all the way around the build, creating another layer of foundations going around what we've already created. So now you should have something that looks like this. So next we're going to go back in in front of one of our greenhouse walls and we're going to get out a metal door frame and we're going to actually be snapping this to the wooden triangle foundations we just placed so that it doesn't destroy the greenhouse wall behind it. So just be careful with how you're placing it, rotate through your snap points and make sure you have this one right here that's in front of the greenhouse wall and on the wooden triangle foundation. Go ahead and add two more metal door frames on top of that one and then continue doing this on every side of the build. Next, we're going to add one more row of foundations to finish off our base. So first here in front of our door, we're going to come in here and place two normal foundations. Then we'll add a triangle foundation on the corner and just continue this pattern until we reach where we started. Then just go ahead and switch all of the normal foundations to block. Next, we're going to come in here just above our greenhouse walls and get out a wooden triangle ceiling. And we're going to snap that to the greenhouse wall so it should look like this. And then just continue around with wooden triangle ceilings, creating a ring around our build. Next, we're going to do the same thing as we did with our foundations below. We're going to place two wooden ceilings coming out, add a triangle on the corner, and continue this pattern all the way around until we reach our start point. So then that should give you something that looks like this going around our build. So now we're gonna go back into one of our sides that has two normal ceilings on it, and we're gonna place a sloped wooden wall right, right here down the center facing inward, like so. And then we're going to do that on every side that has the double wooden ceilings down the middle. Now with those placed, we'll go ahead and add a sloped wooden roof on each side of them. And also add a wooden triangle roof here on the corner, flipping it around so that it points upward into our build, like so. So go ahead and add those all the way around the build. Then we're going to go ahead and here to this wooden wall that's between our metal pillars and we're going to place a wooden triangle ceiling on top of it and again just make a ring going around the build. Now we're going to go ahead and place wooden triangle roofs on these so we'll first snap one right here going up, another one right here going up, and then a third one right here going down to fill it in and we'll do this on all sides of the top of the build. Then with that done, we're going to go into the very top of the build and place a wooden triangle ceiling on any of these wooden window frames. It doesn't matter which one you put it on. We'll just put it right here. And then I'm going to get out a delivery crate and I'm going to place it dead center on the very tip as far out as I can go on the tip of that triangle ceiling. So like right here. Now, if you don't have access to the delivery crate, you can use anything else like a flag. It's just to add something to the top of our merry-go-round. So then I'm going to go ahead and get out wooden triangle roofs again and point them upward towards that delivery crate to fill in the very top of the build. Next, we're going to come in here to our bottom most ceiling and we're going to place a wooden wall below it 
flipped around and we're going to continue to do this all the way around. Then we're going to come back in here to this corner wall and we're going to place a trophy wall mount on it. Now just try to get it as center as you can. So go ahead and place it like this and we're going to go around the entire build and place one of these on each corner wall. Now we're going to come in here to these two wooden walls that are between our trophy mounts and we're going to place a thatch wall below one of them but we need to flip it back around so it places like this. Go ahead and add a thatch ceiling above it and another one next to that. And then on top of that thatch ceiling we're going to get out a wooden railing and we're going to rotate the snap point so that we're placing it on the thatch ceiling like so. Add another one right here and then you can go ahead and pick up or destroy all of this thatch and everything will remain. So we're going to go around and do this on every side that has the two wooden walls. Now we're going to come in here to our corner on our triangle foundation and we're going to place three high metal double door frames from that. Now be careful on the third one that you are placing on top of the ones below and not replacing the wooden wall. So it should come out looking like that. Go ahead around on every corner and do the same thing. Next thing we're going to do is come in here to one of our sides that has two normal foundations and we're going to place thatch ceilings attached to those and then we're going to get out a metal railing and snap it to the thatch ceiling like this. So go ahead and rotate it around and place it. Add another one right here. Then you can go ahead and pick up those thatch ceilings. And then once you have those picked up what we're going to do is get a stone railing out and we're going to snap it to the bottom of those metal railings in front of our foundation just to add a little more detail to the front of our foundations. Then we're going to go around and do this on every single one of our foundations going all the way around our build except for whichever one of these corner pieces you choose to be your entrance. So leave one of these open but go around the rest of this and add these on every single foundation. Now we're going to go ahead and get out our vertical metal irrigation pipes, so the straight up and down ones. And what we're going to do is we're going to go inside here and place them to kind of make the poles that our horses would be attached to at our merry-go-round. So first we're going to come here to the side of our entrance and place one right in the middle here where the point of our triangle foundation is. Then add two more on top of it to get it up to the roof. And if you go up top you'll see it doesn't stick through at the top. Then we're going to go around to this next side and we're going to place one right here in the corner as close as we can get it. So right about here, we'll add two more on top of that. And then we'll head over to this corner and place another one in this corner and add two more on top of that one. Going around to the next side then, we're again going to place one in the middle. And we're just going to continue to do this pattern. So one in the middle, two on the corners, one in the middle, two on the corners. Just continue to do that until you get back to our start point.
So then the last few things we have to do, first right here at the front, we're gonna place a wooden stair coming into our entrance right here, and we'll add a metal railing on top of the side, and we'll also place one down below that as well to fill in the gap. Do that again on this side, of course. And then the last thing we're gonna do is head inside our build to that door that we placed at the very beginning of the build, and we're gonna go ahead and open both of those up, and you'll have to crouch to get in here, but all we're gonna do is place a feeding trough in here to keep our horses fed. So go ahead and drop one right down here in the center, and then you can go ahead and back out the room and you can close both doors by closing the wood one first and then just looking in the corner and closing the greenhouse one. All right guys, so that does it for the building portion of this video. Hang around with me for one more second. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my paint scheme. I'm gonna bring some horses in and I'll show you guys what it all looks like completely finished. All right guys, so I've gone ahead and applied a little paint scheme here. It's supposed to be like a circus theme, obviously. So I'll show you guys what I've done here. So at the bottom, we have these metal railings painted yellow. We also have the metal double door frames all painted yellow as well. At the very bottom, the stone railing down there, I have zone three painted yellow and the remainder of the zones are painted blue. So I think that really adds a nice little detail there at the bottom. For all of the wooden floors here on the outer layer and the wooden stairs, I painted red and then the inner layer I painted white. As we head inside here, I've painted the metal pillars with the yellow color, and then the greenhouse walls and the metal door frames are all painted red. As we go start going up top, I've painted these flipped wooden walls here all blue. I've painted the wooden railings yellow, and then the trophy wall mounts are painted white. Heading up to the roof on the corners, I've painted those wooden triangle roofs red, and then the sloped wooden roofs I've painted zone 2 red and the remainder of the zones white. Then on the next level of our roof, I've done a little bit of a pattern painting those wooden triangle roofs white and red. So you can see I have a nice little pattern going there. Then on the very top, I've painted all of the wooden pillars red. All of the wooden window frames have been painted white. And then again, we have a rotating pattern of red and white up here on those wooden triangle roofs as well. And then I've added a touch of red up here on our little balloon at the very top. Then we'll head inside to show you some of the horses. So of course we have a unicorn right here at the front. And then we have the remainder of our horses all filling in. And as you can see, I've used the beams and just kind of lined them up so the beams look like they're going through the horses like a merry-go-round. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Those help my videos get out there, which obviously helps the channel grow. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future arc Let's Build videos. And guys, if you do end up building this on your arc, feel free to share pictures on whatever social media you may use and let people know where they can find the build. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and have a great day.